Africa Enlightenment Center, Religious, Political, and Social Enlightenment. Hello, pay attention. Watch video to the end. Make sure to subscribe and share this video. Don't forget to comment your opinion in the comment section. Because there is such apparent design in everything that exists now, it seems like that some kind of designer is a good explanation for that. And yeah, if you had if you had another exa that, a, another example of a, a life form or a planet where you could see the designer and the work that they did, I would be much happier with that analogy. Uh, but at this point, you're taking things that exist and and again going back to what I said before, without knowing how else that could have happened, it must have been a, a designer. Uh, it's one of the things when you're talking about a cell or you know the things that make up cells and they reproduce any molecular collection of items that was not able to reproduce did not reproduce. Yeah. And so as soon as the first thing that can reproduce appears, right earlier when he, when, when Paul was basically saying that, you know, uh, in order for evolution to start working, it needed like a self replicating life. You're, you're correct. Right. There yeah. is no, there is no evolution. There is no change unless there's a self replicating molecule and, and the option for genetic drift or essentially change in allele frequency over time or some sort of change over time because that's what evolution is addressing. It's a fact that it has happened. I, I, my curious thing is that, you know, I get it. You're looking at the world and you're saying, this seems to make more sense if there was like a designer that did it. Uh, and, but is it the case that it makes more sense if there was an intelligent agent designer or if there was simply an ordered universe with structure because when you look at water molecules there's hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms Do, does that feel like it needed a designer to put those together um i'm not sure i under i'm not sure i understand what you're asking exactly. a water a water molecule a water molecule is just two hydrogen atoms connected to an oxygen atom, correct? That's my best understanding of it, yeah. Yeah. So does that feel like it needed a designer, or does that just feel like it's something that, hey, this is the way the universe works. These atoms are attracted in this way, in this configuration, et cetera? I don't know. Water seems like a very special pro a very special um, material to me. It has weir really weird properties that... Yeah. Um, almost everything is has weird properties. If you, if you, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, Paul, uh, one of the, the thoughts that I had uh, when I left Methodist Church when I was 13, I was really close to, mm -hmm. to the stuff that you're talking about, what you're thinking about. So I'm, I, I love it very much. Uh, and one of the thoughts that I had is that if evolution, if life, if planets, if Big Bang, if, if all of that is too complex or beyond my understanding to have happened, uh, then would not the creator that made all those things be even more complicated and more mysterious and more impossible to understand fully? And so you've answered a very, very big question with a very, very bigger question. So you've not solved anything, but you've pushed it off to another level that for some reason, probably because of your upbringing or your experience, makes it feel okay. So instead of just stopping it, I don't know, you push it one step further back and say, God done it. And if someone says, where does God come from? I don't know. He always existed. Well, maybe the universe always, always existed. And this is one iteration of it. And we are just incredibly blessed to be in a position that we are aware of ourselves and can ask the question, where did it all come from? doesn't mean we're capable necessarily of having an answer, but providing a bigger riddle to it doesn't move me anywhere. And that's one of the things that just really helped me out of religion when I was 13 is this idea that I like simple answers if I can get them. And if, if the answers aren't sure. there, a more complicated answer behind it makes it even worse for me. Yeah. And I also think there's, if we were to, if we were to decide, for example, and I, I think this is probably, uh, I'm, I apologize, Paul, because I, it may be that I'm combining two calls. But earlier in the call, did you say that you were a, like you're a theist of some stripe? You believe in a god, but do you believe in a particular god? Just the Christian god, generic, or I believe in Yahweh, the create uh, the creator okay. of the Bible. So, if we assume for a second that 
the the earth and or the universe in fact had a an intelligent designer and if we also go ahead and assume that you have managed to pick the correct one out of all the potential uh intelligent designers that have been proposed that comes with some baggage so if in fact you're correct and yahweh is real then this isn't just hey here's a being that created the universe that belief comes with some baggage because clearly that god wants or expects things from us right sure sure so even if i were to agree with you that the universe was designed by something and even if i were to agree with you that it's designed by intelligence i don't know how you get to this god and and the, the reason i bring this up is not to put you in a position where you now you have to defend something else but to make this point if you're correct mm -hmm. And Yahweh, the God described in the Bible, is the real one that is creator of everything. Then you are now advocating and believing in a God that is refusing to settle this disagreement between us. That you think that this God cares about us and wants something from us, and yet will not participate in a conversation with us, but has engaged in conversation with other people. So this God that you believe in is playing favorites, playing hide-and-seek, and creating an, an orderly universe that scientists, in their best efforts to describe, manage to discover how it works, physics, chemistry, biology, etc., without any of them needing to appeal to this God that you've reached as a conclusion. Is it, does it make more sense when you're looking at the zero, one, many, or God is everything thing, that your, your model of one God may account for the appearance of design but the zero god model which is the default and the one that i'm going with until somebody does something different not only includes something that accounts for the appearance of design but includes a reason why we're not hearing from any god why god isn't healing amputees why god isn't answering prayer in any detectable way why god isn't communicating with people in any clear way about what he wants if there are zero gods and people are just inferring a god and then talking about what it wants that is explained better by the no gods hypothesis so the no gods hypothesis covers a whole bunch of things including the origin of the universe the the appearance of design the silence of gods whereas your model with one god doesn't account for all that it only accounts for one possibility behind the appearance of design welcome back if you love the video you enjoy the video you can support us all right just click thanks and buy thanks to support what we're doing because more is coming your way thank you for watching